days I was attacked streets. I want to say hello to all of my wonderful subscribers. How are you all doing this fine Sunday? Oh, I got to put on my seatbelt. I got to put on my seatbelt. Hold on. And I got to go to Walmart to see if I can get another cell phone holder. Because I think this one that I have has seen its last day. And this morning, I got a tag. Maybe about, I guess about 45 minutes ago. By some thing that looks like the thumbnail. The police asked me for a description and that's the best that I could come up with. It has a white rag around its head and it looks like the thumbnail. And you know it's a lot. That's a vague description I know. Because it's a lot of things out here that look like the thumbnail. And you know that makes it very very challenging to narrow it down to the person. Plus in addition to the fact that that the business that I was in did not have cameras. Can you believe it? In 2021, a business that has a whole lot of traffic does not have a single camera. Unbelievable. Not a camera in the business. Not a camera outside of the business. Wow. So, I think it was some cameras at the corner where the thing that attacked me ran off to and the police were saying that you know th those are traffic cameras they may or may not be able to get any footage off of it it's mighty funny when certain people get attacked by a lot of this trash out here in these streets you know certain people can get the footage off of these cameras you know they can get the footage if they want to but certain people that you know they don't really want to do the work to get the footage that's interesting but nonetheless let me tell you how it all went down for some reason I am just instead of being a repellent I am attracting a lot of this trash this demonic trash out here in these streets I guess it you know I've really thought about it and I have figured it out I think I can't prove it, but I think it's the light in me that's attracting the darkness out here in these streets. And a lot of these demonic entities, they are really in opposition of godly people. And a lot of them, you know, I can't prove this. But this is what I suspect and a lot of other people suspect. A lot of them are not even real humans. They are, I suspect, hybrids. So a lot of them do not like real women. They don't like real humans. But they especially don't like real women. Especially the ones that try to pose as us in our community. They don't like real women. So, I've been attacked on social media for several years, at least 10 years or more, from a lot of these type of people. And, well, I should say demons. They're not real people. They are demons. And so, a lot of them in these real streets, they do not like real women because we are a threat to them because we are what they pretend to be right they don't like real women especially real black women they they really don't like us so today <clears throat> i don't know what's wrong with my voice it's got a little something in the in the back of my throat i don't know what that is <coughs> I don't know what that is but anyway I had went to this place that um, I had been hearing about this is my second time going to this place for breakfast since the um, place opened back up they had been closed down during 
the uh, I think I need to go back the other way because I want to get my oil changed and I think the place oh oh no they're closed today I forgot they are closed today so I guess I'll go tomorrow I guess I'll go to Walmart now so uh yeah so I went today after um I finishing up at my job I was thinking while I was at my job oh today is a good day to go and get me some breakfast over there at that place this is the second time that I went since they opened back up after you know being closed during the pandemic so right after I had gotten my food in walks the trash that looks like the thumbnail and it had a a white rag wrapped around his head right and I immediately assumed that it was a he she based on how big it was <laughs> it was real tall and big and wide broad shoulder blades and very very ugly so it was dressed very inappropriately and here I am at the table and it was very close to my table and I was so offended by that and I, I'm like this is spoiling my appetite here I am trying to eat and in walks this trash dressed like it was and looked like it had just rolled out of the bed looking so disgusting and it looked like it stank so bad and I'm like, wow, if I was a manager, I would not even tolerate people coming into my business dressed like that in a food place where food is being served. And I got customers sitting around eating. And here comes somebody that looked like they even haven't even had a bath and just rolled out of the bed. I know this is common amongst this generation of trash. But it is totally always unacceptable by me. And so I was sitting there and I guess the trash saw the expression on my face. And I noticed the trash kept looking over there at me and was standing close to me. And I'm like, out of all these people in this business, why is the attention on me? You know why? Because it's a demon. It's a demon. And that demon knows that I'm a godly person. And this is what they are here for, to disrupt society of godly people. This is why they are out here. This is the only goals that they have in this society. They are coming out here to help Satan kill, steal, and destroy. This is their agenda. And like I said, I, I could see out of my peripheral that it had its attention on me immediately when it walked through the door. And I was so offended and disgusted because like I said, I'm sitting there trying to eat my food. And in walks this disgusting motherfucker. Oh my God. And they don't care nothing about taking a bath and getting themselves together before they come out in public. Once upon a time, males and females, or even if you was trying to go both ways, people used to take time and groom themselves and take care of their hygiene. But now these disgusting motherfuckers, they don't give a single fuck about hygiene. That's not a priority on their on they list of things to do anymore. The more disgusting they are, the better they like it. And everything about them is disgusting. And so I noticed thing. it was really paying a close attention to me. It was really focused on me. And I was like, oh my God, this, this is this awful. And I was just shaking my head. I was just shaking my head. I was like, oh my God. So 
I guess it didn't like the fact that I was disgusted and they could see the expression on my face of disgust and I certainly didn't approve and I heard him saying something under his breath like fat bitch oh fat bitch and that's the only thing that they can say and, and let me say this to that piece of trash and everybody that thinks and and speaks like that trash i'd rather be a fat bitch than a garbage bitch any day of the week i can lose weight but what can you do about your condition motherfucking thing but just purge yourself out of society or let god do it huh. i'd rather be a fat bitch any day of the week than a garbage bitch than a demonic bitch than an awful bitch than a satanic bitch and I wanted to tell that trash motherfucker that. But I said, you know what? I don't even want to be nowhere near this trash. I'm allergic to that to, to that trash. I don't like to be, I don't like them. And I don't like to be nowhere around them. And I reserve the right to make that choice. I will not be a tolerance for you. God don't tolerate you, and I don't either. So I decided to just get up and take my food to the other table on the whole other side of the room to just get completely away from it. Okay? So, a little while later, after its order was ready, <clears throat> the woman at the counter called the thing and it went over there and got its food and it came down there where I was. And see, down there where I was, uh, right in front of me was the coffee and the tea, the salt and the pepper, the paper, the napkins, paper towel, etc., etc., etc. So it used that as an excuse to come down now in front of me and, 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 and continue what it had, was saying when I was over on the other side. And I heard it saying again, oh, fat bitch, fat bitch. And it got close to the door, and I was sitting right there by the door. And then it came over there going through the door. And before he, he it went through the door, it said it again by two or three more times, oh, fat bitch, fat bitch. And I just said to myself, out loud, trash. That ain't nothing but some trash. And I guess it heard me and it came back inside and said i bet you won't come outside and say it i bet you won't come outside and say it and see that's what they like to do they so angry inside because they are disgusting because they are gross because they are rejected because they are unwanted because they are ungodly because they are satanic and on and on and on they 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 so angry inside because they are not whole they are not complete they are miserable they are just this just, just destroyed and they gotta walk around and exist like that in that condition and they are mad because a lot of people who got good sense are not fooling with them and they want to be included. They want to be accepted. Instead of going somewhere and laying themselves on the altar of God and letting God fix them and get themselves together, they want to fight. They want to fight because people like me don't want to fool with them. People like me don't want to accept them. I got a right to not to accept you. I got the right to not to fool with you. I got a right to reject you. I got a right to get away from you. We don't have nothing in common. And I will never tolerate you. I will never support you. I will never build you up and encourage you to keep on being disgusting and walking in your satanic ways. I won't do it. And I won't apologize for that. I'm not going to accommodate you in, in that condition. I'm not going to do it. And so, I got
that up since I saw it wanted to fight, obviously. And it just kept going and going and going with that mouth standing by the door. I got up. <clears throat> I said, let me go back to the, to the table where I was in the beginning. Let me go back there again. And it's sad that I got to be inconvenienced and people like me, we got to be inconvenienced because we constantly moving away from this trash. We moving away, and the more we move away, the more they come around. Instead of going over there, go over there and, and isolate yourself. Go over there. Woo! And we and people like me, we constantly gotta inconvenience ourselves. Move, 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 and they come, come, come. Oh my God! Unwanted motherfuckers. I got the right to not want to be around you. I don't want you. They do the same thing on YouTube. They do the same thing on YouTube. The trolls. Some of them are afflicted with the same condition. I block them. They come right back. I block them. They come right back. Ooh, the rejects. They are rejected. They are unwanted. And they just try to force people to accept them. I don't care how much you try to force your way into my territory. I'm never going to want you. I'm never going to accept you. And I'm going to continue to reject you over and over and over again. I'm not going to never get tired of blocking you. I ain't going to never get tired of rejecting you. You're going to have to get better. I'm not going to conform to your way. You're going to have to conform to man, me and God's. I'm not going to conform to your way and your standards and your principles. Huh. The devil lives a lie. Huh. No, 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 no. We're not going to do it like that. We're not going to do it like that. And how, wherever we got to go with it, let's go. Wherever we got to go with it, let's go. So, let me tell you what the what the trash did. So, when I turn, like a coward. And, and one thing that I, one thing that I know about them. One thing that I know about them, Satan and his people. They are cowards. So, the satanic trash nigga, he decided to steal on me. So, when I got up to turn my back to go to that other table where I started from, the nigga came, the big, 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 big burly nigga came from the behind me and hit me upside my face like that and ran his big ass back out the door. No, 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 no. If you so big and bad, stand on it. Stand on it. Stand on it. Stay right there and face the consequences. And see, the last time when I had that encounter with that hood rat and she threatened me inside that grocery store that she would shoot me down to the ground, I, I promised myself that would never happen again. So this time, I had my weapon in my bag. And see, my bag is very, very big. And I did not want to take that big old bag in the restaurant. So what I did, I just took my little pouch that has my money and my, my debit card in it and my ID. I just took this instead of that whole big bag. That was my mistake. So that won't happen again. Even if it's an inconvenience, my bag got to go wherever I go from now on. That won't never happen again. I promised myself today, after that happened, that'll never happen again. And see, when I, okay, if I had left, okay, it was two different doors. The door where, 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 where the trash went out of, that was towards the back and towards the side. So, my vehicle was parked on the other side of the business in front of the front door. So, the trash, 
the trash tranny had already went outside the door and was in its car. So if I had left, it would, it would have had a chance to leave, like like what it did. So I saw it was trying to get away. So the best I could do was take out my phone, and that's some of y'all probably heard it when I went live. And I went live to try to record, you know, get a description of the car and the tag. So when the tranny, when the tranny, when the tranny, <clears throat> when the tranny saw that I was recording, first, okay, it had already got in the car, right? So when I, when it, when I had my phone out recording him, he was fixing a bag back in reverse, but then he came back. He put it in and drive and came back. And I'm thinking, okay, he probably more than likely has a gun, so maybe he's gonna try to shoot. And so that's when y'all, those of you that was on the live earlier, that's when you heard me say to the people, call the police. Because and you know, because I was on the other side of the store away from my vehicle. Okay? So if it had tried to shoot in there, you know, I'm right there in front of the vehicle. It was no way that I could have went to the other side to get in my vehicle and get my bag or whatever fast enough. That's why I told them to call the police. And that's when the tranny put its car in reverse and tried to hurry up and drive off so I couldn't get a get the um you know a video recording of the tag and that's another thing I think it had one of those covers over the tag you know it has like a little tent a lot of these people have those tag covers and see I, I need to talk to some of these lawmakers or some of these city council members about this because a lot of these people in this particular town and this is the only town that I have ever seen this type of stuff going on with these tags a lot of these criminals especially a lot of these criminals are riding around with these drive-out tags and they ride around with these drive-out tags because they don't want to be detected. And a lot of them that's driving around in the drive-out tags, they drive around in the drive-out tags indefinitely. And then on top of that, most of them don't have a driver's license. So if you have a wreck with them, what are you going to do? Most of them are going to run off. If they have a wreck with you, they're not going to stop and wait for the police because they probably got warrants. They don't have real ID. They don't have no ID. Or the ID might be suspended or revoked. So they're going to run away as soon as they have a wreck with you. So that's a big problem. That's a big problem. And in this particular, look, look, look. See what I mean? See what I mean? This one behind me. Now, why would you park right behind me? You see what I mean? They get out and come out in public for the sole purpose of starting problems. Why would you park directly behind me? That's not even a parking space. That's not even a parking space back there. You, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? They come out here just to cause problems. They want to start a fight. Because they are miserable motherfuckers. They are miserable. And you know what I decided today? No longer will I have compassion on these motherfuckers. And especially when they walk around here pretending to be motherfucking victims. They're not motherfucking victims. They are the problem. They are terrorizing the community. So what I'm going to start doing is take my weapon in self-defense 
wherever I go. This bag right here. Let me show you. Let me show you this bag. This this might as well be a suitcase. This right here. This right here. It's just going to be a heavy motherfucker on my shoulder from now on. Wherever I go, it's going with me. It's just going to be a heavy motherfucker wearing my shoulder blade down. Wherever I go from this day forward, it's going with me. Never again will that happen to me what happened this morning. <clears throat> and that tranny, trash, motherfucking, ugly, planet of the apes motherfucker was not supposed to leave that place the same way that that motherfucker came. It wasn't supposed to leave the same way. After uh, putting this motherfucking pause on me, it was not supposed to leave the same way it came. And like a coward, like I said, oh, it's, it's, it's running away. It's running away. No, if you so big and bad, stay there and face the consequences. Stay there. But like I said, Satan and, and Satan's people, they are cowards. That's one thing that I know for sure about Satan and all these demons that worship Satan. They are cowards. They come out here like they big and bad and they so bold. But at the end of the day, this is the common denominator amongst them. They are cowards. And they may have the courage to do little stuff, you know, little sneak attacks on you. But they not going to stand their ground and they not going to stand around long enough to face the consequences. So that's where we have the advantage, God's people. That's where we have the advantage over them. And not only will my bag go wherever I go from now on. Not only that. But let me tell you another thing that I promised myself today. I'm going to start supporting the, the police. Whatever they want to do to these motherfuckers is fine by me. It's fine by me. And I would like to say more, but I'm going to keep all of that to myself for now. Between me and God. And I'm going to support the police. Back the blue. Back the blue from here on out. And I'm going to start donating to the police unions. And to the other organizations that oppose these motherfuckers and are doing the work to do what they need to do to, to, to take care of these motherfuckers and get them out the way. I'm going to support them. I'm going to start donating to them. Oh, yes, I am. And I don't care who don't like it. Everybody else is just standing back, letting the shit go down. And just like this one black man, he witnessed the whole incident. And, you know, he was standing around talking about it. And it was two policemen that came to get them some breakfast. But they were not assigned to that particular jurisdiction. So they told me. And they could have taken care of it, but they didn't. And, you know, that's the way it is. So I, I respect it. You know, they tell them in the call, um, the non-emergency number to have the police that assigned to that area to come over there and take care of it. So that's what I did. And that particular black, black guy, he really didn't want to get involved. And see, that's the problem with the black community. That's one of the problems in the black community. A lot of these black people, they don't want to snitch on other black people. And that's where your support of other black people goes wrong. You supporting the wrong shit. You supporting the wrong shit. Okay, you don't want to say nothing 
when you see another black person attacking and assaulting and robbing and raping and killing and terrorizing another black person, but then when you see a white person did doing the same thing, oh, you all mouth. You wanna you wanna talk, you wanna protest, you wanna do everything that it takes. But you are accommodating the terrorist. In your own community. By default. So in that sense. You are part of the problem. And it really pissed me off. When that guy. When I asked him. Now he was talking to the manager about it. And telling him. And see the manager was white. He was telling him. You know that he had seen the whole thing. So when I asked him. I said, sir, would you mind writing a statement and, you know, so I can um, give that to the police and try to find the person that assaulted me? And he said, oh, I don't want to get involved. So I already knew I was in front of a coward, right? I was already in front of a coward. And that pissed me off more than being assaulted by a tranny trash. That, 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 that really pisses me off because here you are, you a coward just like the tranny. You a coward just like the tranny. Okay, so at that point, we don't have nothing else to talk about. You don't want to get involved. You don't want, he said he didn't want his name associated with it. What do you have to lose by putting your name associated with it? Your name don't really have nothing to do with it. So it made me think, well, maybe he got some, some dirt on, on him. Maybe he is doing something dirty in the streets and he don't want his name out there. Or maybe he got some warrants on him. So maybe that's why he don't want his name. In, ooh, I mean, it's stupid. It's stupid. I have never seen so many cowards in our community. And then the it's so it's so insulting. And then the black man, you are created by God to protect the black woman, the black child, and the black community. And here you are standing there in front of me talking about I don't want my name in it. I don't want my name involved in it. Your name don't even hold no weight, nigga. That's the first that's first of all, your name ain't even holding no fucking weight. But you don't want your name involved. And they wonder why they don't get any respect. They wonder why a lot of people don't value them. Look at how you're conducting yourself in the streets. And, you, and they wonder why God allows all of this stuff to happen to you. Over and over. I don't blame God. Why should God protect and defend wickedness? You got wickedness in your heart. You got wickedness in your walk. You got wickedness in your talk. Everything about, about a lot of these people are wicked. And I could go on and on and on. But I'm going to stop right there for now. And when I was on the phone talking with the dispatcher about this, it really, really pissed me off. And, you know, that somebody really needs to give a lot of those dispatchers remedial training because they they really um i can imagine they have really caused a lot of people to get hurt or worse by wasting a lot of time asking questions that don't even matter at the moment it don't even matter how many buttons on the shirt and what color shirt and this that i'm giving you the address send the police and we'll talk about the description of the shirt and the pants and the hair style and all of that later. Okay. And in the midst of me talking to the dispatcher, 
she is asking me, have you or anybody around you been exposed to COVID? I couldn't believe it. I said, ma'am, are you really serious right now? Are you really serious right now? I'm telling you that I have been a, 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 assaulted and attacked by a hood rat. And you are asking me about COVID? COVID ain't got nothing to do with this right now. I have been attacked by a hood rat. That's more of a danger to me than, than COVID. And she was like, well, I understand, ma'am, but I'm just, I'm just having to ask you this question. I said, ma'am, this, this is really ridiculous. I really can't believe that you are really serious uh, and you want me to have a screening about COVID right now. And I'm telling you what's done happened to me as it relates to being attacked by a man that's opposing as a, a woman. I really can't believe you right now. You're really serious. So you're going to make it about COVID instead of making it about what it is. So in that sense, once again, Satan, and I understand. I understand the game. Satan is covering for his people. Satan is covering for his people. Satan got Lucifer. Lucifer got his people out here playing defense. For his people. So you're going to make it about COVID. Now you want to change the narrative. And you want to change the subject. And you want to focus on fucking COVID. And I'm telling you. That a motherfucker has assaulted me. A big ass man. That's pretending to be a motherfucking woman. And, and now you want to change the subject. And, and ask me some questions about COVID. Are you serious? So that's going to delay the police coming over here. Meanwhile, this big ass man that's looking like a fucking gorilla, a female gorilla, is gone on down the street. The longer you hold me hostage on this telephone asking me about COVID, the greater the chance of the big ass tranny getting the fuck away. So then the police are just going to come and, and just be like, oh, oh, well, like they fucking did. And that's what they want. That's what they want. And that's why these motherfuckers are getting away with what they're getting away with all over this city. The same fucking game is getting played over and over and over again. See something. Say something. It ain't going to do you a motherfucking... Uh, it ain't going to do you no good. It ain't going to do you no good. So the best you can do is stand your ground. Defend yourself whenever you can. When I was on my way over there this morning to the restaurant, they go all that drag racing. I called the police about that. Two of them passed me going at a high rate of speed. One of them didn't even have their lights on. It was dark outside. I called the police. The, well, the dispatcher of the non-emergency line. And the woman asking me, all these questions that ain't got nothing to do with the drag racers who are on their way to kill somebody if they get a chance. And she asking me, do you want to talk to the police? Why would I need to talk to the police? The person that the police needs to talk to is the motherfuckers that's breaking the law and putting public safety in danger. That's who needs to talk to the police. And she was not really enthusiastic about, you know, you know, the, the seriousness of the situation. And I could tell, on her, you know, by the tone of her voice, she, she really wasn't interested in that. And just before I made it to the restaurant, it was a lot of more people drag racing, speeding, and one of them that was right down the side of me ran the red light it's a lot of that going on we are in the state of full-blown lawlessness this is what the bible speaks of we are there we are there we are walking towards the end of the chapter as it relates to this life lifetime right here 
we are walking in revelations right now. It is this 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 whole existence right now is on its way to being closed out. We have did everything that the Bible speaks of towards the end of the days. And right now, we are walking in lawlessness. A lot of these criminals and heathens and 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 um devil worshipers and demon possessed uh entities they are doing whatever they want to do and they're getting away with it for the most part they're getting away with it and you know i i respect the police and everything and i appreciate them coming and at least trying to put in the effort but you know I feel like more could have been done. There was not, and I, and I still cannot believe that that business in 2021 does not have a single camera. Nowhere in the, especially in a city like this, where crime is very, very high. That's very irresponsible for that business to operate like that for the customers and the employees. But anyway, and the police that was like, well, you know, um, it's not much we can do other than get a report. Okay, that's not going to do me any good. But, me, but you know what? I'm okay with it because I know that the streets, are, they're going to take care of the tranny. And I'm pretty sure if that tranny will try that on me. It's going to try. It's going to be emboldened. That's going to embolden that training. And it's going to try it on somebody else. And somebody else might be ready. I was ready. But unfortunately, I had my bag and my vehicle. But that won't happen again. And, oh my God. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Oh, I got to hurry up. Because I got to go lay down. Are y'all still there? Okay. Ooh, see what I mean? I gotta go in here and get me a, another cell phone holder. Because this one, this one right here is really done lost all of its grip. But, um, it's a shame. It's a shame civilized, godly people like myself. We cannot go out in public and enjoy our meal this is why i'm in the process of trying to move further out and this and, and i'm so tired of having to move away from these uncivilized endangered demonic <laughs> idiots idiots because they don't want nothing in life they want to destroy everything in society including themselves and they come out in public every day looking for problems, looking for trouble, looking for a fight because they motherfucking asses are rejected. And they are unwanted and they are very unaccomplished, unproductive, and unhappy with themselves. They are miserable. And okay. Who I need me another charger and another cell phone holder. I guess I'll go in Walmart and see if I can get one. But anyway, yeah, I was attacked by a train of trash today. And I have promised myself. I had, like I said, I had already promised myself after I was attacked by that hood rat in the grocery store three weeks ago. That would never happen again, right? So, like I said, I had my weapon in my bag. I left my bag out here in my vehicle because I didn't want to take the big-ass bag in the restaurant with me, right? So, I just took my pouch. I just took my pouch. And I have really told myself as of today that, won't, that, that cannot happen again. And that will not happen again. I'm just going to have to be burdened down with this heavy-ass bag. I'm just going to have to tote it like a suitcase wherever I go. And 
that's that on that because that won't happen again. So that was a lesson learned. I cannot afford to take any chances with these satanic, disgusting motherfuckers ever again. Ever again. And I'm going to support the police. I'm going to support all these white people that's trying their best to do to put in the work to, to put a stop to these awful, uncivilized motherfucking wildebeest. Yes, I am. And I don't care who don't like it. I'm going to start donating to all their organizations. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And at first, I, I didn't understand, like a lot of people don't understand. They don't understand. It's not about racism. It's about these people being satanic, uncivilized motherfuckers. That's what it's about. It's not about racism. It's not about racism. It's about the misconduct. It's, a, it's about how uncivilized they are. And a lot of civilized people are fed up with their motherfucking ass. And they don't want to conform to them. They don't want to merge with them. And I don't blame them. Law and order has to be restored. And that's the bottom line. And that's what I'm, I'm, I'm going to support from now on. That's what I'm going to be supporting. Law and order being restored. However they got to do it. Let's do it. Let's get it done. And that's what I'm standing on right there. That's what I'm standing on right there. Fuck all that other bullshit. Fuck all that other bullshit. And a lot of these uncivilized heathens, they know that's what it's all about too. And they're rebelling against it and pretending like it's about racism and being discriminated against and being suppressed and violated bullshit. They know what it's all about. But they're trying to manipulate the facts. They're trying to manipulate the facts. I know what it's all about. And for a long time, I was confused too. But now, my eyes are open and I can see clearly. I can see clearly. These uncivilized heathens are out of control. They're out of control. And when I have to be subjected to a big ass dude posing as a big ugly ass woman putting his rusty dusty ashy ass paws on my face oh it's a fucking problem it's a fucking problem it's a big problem and the big the big wide back big shoulder blade big gorilla face ugly disgusting rejected horrible failure motherfucker it's a coward if you're that big and bad, like I said, to put your paws on me, stand on it. Stand on it. Stay there and face the consequences, whatever the consequences may be. Don't run away. Don't take your paw and put your foot up. Don't put your paw on the gas and run away. Stay there. Stay there since you're so big and bad and, and bold. They don't have courage. They don't have courage. And I have seen it happen on YouTube. I have seen it all over social media. And in these real streets. They are cowards. They don't have no courage. They are cowards. They do all these little sneak attacks. And they run away. That's, that's what they all about. They are cowards. But I tell you what. What that one did today, and 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 any of them that's like that one right there, it, that won't happen again. I promise myself today. And see, I I used to not be the type. Well, I don't want to be involved. I don't want that blood on my hands. But we are walking into a state of existence where we don't have a choice in the matter. You either going to have to defend yourself or, or be taken out by these motherfucking awful ass satanic ass folks. You only have to, it, it's going to get to the place now. You only got two options on the board. We used to be able to avoid them, but now they have brought the fight to us. They, they clearly want war. You can't avoid them anymore. We used to could, could avoid them, but now they are not giving us a choice. In the matter. So it is what it is. I'm not going to back down. I'm going to stand my ground. Period. Okay, you guys. I'll talk to y'all later. I'll let you girl. And if y'all see anybody on these streets. And I know it's a lot of them that look like the thumbnail. Unfortunately. 
So it, it, it makes it really hard for me in the place to narrow it down and try to find the cow that attacked me. But it had it had a, a rag around its head. And it was dressed in an awful manner. I think it had on a mini dress or something like that. And it looked like it hadn't had a bath in a long, long, long time. And had the nerve to walk into a restaurant like that. Ooh, they some horrible motherfuckers. They are horrible. They very horrible. Ooh. And want me to sit around and eat my food with it with his big nasty, disgusting, stinking looking tail standing around my table. Oh my God. I will never conform to that shit. And I'm not going to apologize. And we're going to have to do whatever we're going to do about it. Okay? I'm going to have some standards. And I'm not going to I'm not gonna lower my standards to accommodate these satanic folks. That's not what's going to happen. I'm not going to lower my standards. They're going to have to raise theirs. Holla at you, girl. Peace.